Hey everybody, we've got a special completed work demo today. This is a little banjo uke that I finished just now for our good friends Craig Chi and Sarah Maisel. And um, they've been helping us with photos and videos and other marketing materials for a couple of years for Beansprout. And they're just great friends and great musical collaborators, so I'm happy to put an instrument together for them. So uh, the cool thing is, is they picked out this fretboard and it looks like that there's a volcano on it. So pretty neat. And then the rest of the instrument is salvaged Honduras mahogany. It came out of a theater in Portland. I love using mahogany. It's an old traditional wood, but I'm not keen on buying the stuff from Africa that they call mahogany. So I tend to just use old stuff that I can find here and there. And I love the way that it changes depending on what angle you look at it. So it's all mahogany and pistachio. I picked out lots of red volcanic looking pistachio for them. And after I play it a little bit, I'll tell you some more technical details about how this fretboard turned out uh, for those uh, instrument nerds who want to stick around after I play. So. So the mahogany is an interesting sound, it kind of sounds, um, it's about the same volume as walnut, but it's got a different texture to the sound that I kind of like, so I might keep doing more of these. So the fretboard, when we originally had picked this out, um, I cut the fret slots for a tenor because Sarah and Craig, they, I've always seen them play tenors, and I assumed they'd want a tenor instrument. Um, so it was fret slotted and tapered. Uh, already in the pile waiting for their, for their start date. And then Sarah reminded me that she wanted a concert. So what I did is I cut the last two frets off and luckily it saved the volcano. And so it took the scale length down from a 17 to 15. And normally my concert's 14.75, if that matters. So this scale length is a quarter inch longer than normal. So just a little bit more room. And then because it already had been tapered um, and we cut those two off, it made for a slightly wider nut width which actually Craig and Sarah's other instruments, they play have a wider nut width here. So it kind of just worked out in its own way. It's still a concert scale instrument, but it's kind of a special setup and we got to keep the volcano. So there you go, number 302.